Hey, from Marco Lunatics, just calling out to Tyrus and Damien and others um, in regards to Batacera. So we're still chipping away at the light and all guns blazing, light gun lunatics version 42 of Batistera. Hopefully next week or shortly after. They'll stabilize version 42. We'll do last minute testing, do any tips and tricks and tweaks and load that into Torrance and Mega for everyone. Um, huge shout out to the group in there um, some of them aren't necessarily on Facebook but they are certainly in the discord the joint setup okay what's this build all about well I have my steam deck and I do have version 42 light gun lunatics on a separate micro ST card but the normal run-of-the-mill Batacera that I have plugged into my Steam Deck is a one terabyte Batacera um, card. Uh, and I've had uh, a build on there for a while now, which was version 39, so that, you know, we're up to 42 now. So that's a little while ago. Uh, and there was a lot of games that didn't work on that. A lot of bloat, a lot of duplicates. <coughs> Still a great build, I'm totally blown away by it. Um, but there's a lot of stuff on there that, you know, really didn't uh, tickle my fancy. So, what have I done? Well, I've got a... Where is it? Oh, grab a... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Grabbed uh, an N.2 one terabyte sort of uh, drive and stuck it in an enclosure. And I'm just doing that as a test build which will then go into a one terabyte micro SD card and permanently be plugged into my Steam Deck. It is now version 42 and it's going to be the can I play with madness type type build and that's um, only because I'm an Iron Maiden fan that I called it that. Uh, so this is really just a personal build which I think will end up being the main build on my Steam Deck. I'm pretty sure like 99% certain of that uh, what's it going to include well first thing on my lcd steam deck is plugged into a dock onto my 1080p monitor i've got my retro shooter guns you can see it it's, it's tracking quite nicely uh, with the dock um, and in this case i've just got a cheap usb controller um, so you know this is filled to the brim i'm gonna go i'm literally going through all the different builds. Uh, Pixel Nostalgia's theme is um, just simply breathtaking. Um, that will be the theme for this for this build, for w without a doubt. So this is going to have my personal collection on here. About eight, just over eight thousand games. Like it fills the one terabyte drive. So it's going to be all the arcade games that I like on there across a whole range of different platforms. It's gonna have the Light Gun Lunatics version 42 All Guns Blazing build incorporated into it. And it's gonna have a lot of my favorite racing games on here as well. Um, won't obviously replace my racing cabinet, but it's gonna have some pretty mind blowing games on here uh, which we'll go through uh, in a sec uh, I'm just going to start off with Lindbergh so in this case um, not only do all the the light gun games uh, that have been provided with the really cool guys from the Lindbergh Loader project uh, and the associated games for light guns uh, but it's also got all the driving games um, and some other games in there as well so uh, it's really just like I can't speak highly enough of Lindbergh six months ago it just wasn't there there's still more improvements to come in version 43 of Batacera um, so stay tuned there's going to be a, a version 43 uh, this is version 42 um, uh, beta which hopefully next week or the week after will become 
stable, fingers crossed. Um, so I'm just going to pick a few games uh, just to show you the versatility of this build off the Steam Deck so you can get a real feel for what it is. Again, just shout out to Tyler, Tyrus, Damien, the French Batacera uh, community, which have been so supportive. Um, uh, just, yeah, great, great mob. You know, you, you can ask them anything and, and they're really, really helpful. Cassio and all these other guys are in our groups as well. Um, so just, just a call out to you guys. I'm just going to play one of my favorite games, which is Outrun on the Lindbergh Loader. All right, so the Lindbergh Loader. Um, first game I'm going to just quickly showcase, because I've showcased a few other ones, but there's some absolute crackers in here, like Hummer, Initial D, 4 and 5, R-Tuned, Sega Race TV, just an, uh, um, you know, Harley Davidson, like, you know, just some really great titles. Just going to quickly go into Outrun. Um, and of course, within the, this particular build, I've got Outrun on a whole range of different platforms. It's just like one of my favorite all-time racing games of all time. Uh, but the fact that it's on the Lindbergh loader, it's the arcade version. Um, it's just uh, the bee's knees. I'm not going to go into any really long um, demonstrations of the physical game, but just more a quick showcase of what's going on. Yeah. This is just using my controller. Excuse the crappy driving. Not a dr really a driver with a control, although I might enter our um, virtual racing competition on the Steam Deck just to see what score I can I can post. But that just looks friggin' dynamite. Though I have to say, I'm a real fan of the PSP version of Outrun, and it just look I've got to say, like while this is really good, it really blo the other one blows it away with the Vulcan settings and everything just cranked to the absolute max. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, so I'll just quickly jump out of that. We're using my controller. And what am I going to do? I am now going to... Oh, no, I'm going to stay in Lindbergh. Uh, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to go pick Rambo. And then I've got my Retro Shooter Reapers which are definitely my go-to guns for my Steam Deck because it's really portable and it's got the dock and everything. And this, again, the hub is plugged into the dock of my Steam Deck. Um, so, again, just, you know, throw it all in a bag and take it on fishing trips or trips away for work or whatever. It just makes it a really great portable um, setup. I'm sure you can make a permanent setup with, with all this stuff, and I'm sure people do do that. Um but I think, you know, this for me, this is uh, like awesome. It'll, it'll go really well. Um, now, you can see that Rambo takes a little bit of time to load. Um, a lot of the guys in the Retro Lunatics Discord have been just super amazingly helpful on the version 42 of the Light Gun Lunatics build again i can't thank them enough for helping out uh and hopefully when that those builds come out then depending on time and how any fine tuning i need to do with this one terabyte build which has basically got arcade wheels flying guns a really great cross section of of games um then um i'll look to to post that up um, as well, uh, but I'll you know that'll be secondary to the like gun builds. All right. Sure. 
got the recall turned off, otherwise you wouldn't hear anything. And it just looks superb. Yeah, I think I did a video on this one already. Go rage mode straight away, why not? Uh, just, it looks just so good. Anyway, so that's that's Rambo. And then I'm just gonna quickly use my controller. This is as easy to be using a gun with the steam deck because it's just closer. Uh, and that's, that's Lindbergh. But again, like there's, you know, there's a truckload. It's just so good. Um, okay, uh, I could go through all these regular platforms. There's, you know, there's a, again, there's going to be there's a truckload, uh, but I'm going to just go straight into Windows because there's a lot of interest in that. Um, what will I pick? Uh, what did Tyler send me the other day? Uh, oh, that's right, Mario Kart. Who doesn't want a bit of Mario Kart on Steam Deck? Triforce and all those are on, on here as well. Uh, along with um, ones from GameCube and, and the Wii and, and and others, especially if you can't get your, enough fill on your Mario Kart. And I love playing Mario Kart. It's just, just no brainer, good fun game. But uh, yeah, when um, someone said, hey, you should get this on your Steam Deck. And I said, oh, geez, I didn't even realize that this version was available on the Steam Deck. So this is 1.18, which is great. So just bear with me for a sec. And you can see it's just going through the, the loading stages. And this just goes so so well on the Steam Deck too, which is which is great. And this is the original LCD Steam Deck, so it's not the more powerful OLED version. Um, version forty two of the Steam Deck version of Batacera compared to my version thirty nine is just like night and day. You can just tell straight away the performance is just like. It's double um, the all the audio issues on the 39 compared to the 42 have all been resolved, which is just like totally mind blowing. So I was just absolutely chuffed that I you know um, didn't have to turn it up to you know 200 to get the volume going. And I'm not going to get too scientific about this. Okay, and I'm just going to go through here. Uh, so it's pretty good load times for the Steam Deck, I have to say. Makes me want to go jump on the racing cab. a pretty good style, I was happy with that. And like, look at this performance, like, I know the Triforce stuff is pretty, pretty good, but to be brutally honest, between this and Mario Kart 8 on Switch, which is also on, on here. Um, you know, the, the Triforce ones do look a bit, look a bit tired. Yeah, piss off, there we go. All right, sorry, I'm getting carried away, wanting to play the games. Um, okay, and what what one can we sort of finish on? Because we'll be doing lots more 
um, light gun demonstration. Like KO Drive is now working on here. Like some of the guys that have had these for a long time, but again, I haven't had to think about adding it to my Batacera build. I'm going to test it on my wheel. I'm not sure if it'll actually work. There's been some enhancements to do with wheels. I'm not convinced it's going to work with wheels, but it definitely will work with controllers. Um, but anyway, so yes, you know, super bikes and all these other ones um, that are on there too. Super bike three, uh, still a little bit problematic uh, for me from a Steam Deck perspective on PC. No dramas, but the Steam Deck seems to have a bit of an issue with it, just working through that. Uh, and this is the one Damien <coughs> flicked through. Um, Flybit did a, a, a J config for this, and he's good. Damo's, you know, weaved his witchcraft and wizardry, I'm sure, with his friends in the French community. And um, so this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade version. So you, you might recall that there's one on Techno Parrot that sits under subscription. So we surfaced that in our group with the, the jconfig file. And now here it is actually now being played on the on the Steam Deck. And it just, it, you know, it, like there is a Switch version and there's a Steam, uh, like a Steam version of it uh, as well. Um, they're really cool too. Um, but the fact that this is the arcade version, I actually really like the arcade version. It's a shorter format of the game and and it's, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just, I guess it's just more because I like the arcade stuff. Um, and I'll just keep, we'll just end it on this game. Yeah, and look at it. It just looks absolutely superb. You know, all on the Steam Deck. Yeah, there you go, cop that, motherfucker. Oops. Anyway, there's another quick demo. So that might be, this might be a third build. Tell me what you think. This is going to be my personal build, but I'm happy to, to surface that after the Light Gun Lunatics version 42 builds. And I'll just escape out of that. And we'll leave it at that. Have a great weekend.